What the fuck is up, Kyle? Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the trainer model of the Krakarakin. This thing is pretty cool, but because I've covered the Krakarakin before, I'll try to make this one quick. Before we get started, I would like to shout out a couple patrons, Stitch and Moonbane, both of which have been awesome in the Discord. It's been pretty cool hopping on a call with everybody and just getting to chat about whatever. It's kind of relaxing. If you'd like to join in on the conversation in the Discord, or you just want to help support me, please consider donating to the Patreon. I appreciate every little bit of help. All right, let's get started. So Squid actually reached out to me this time, offering to let me borrow the trainer version for a couple of weeks for this review. And I gotta say, they really hit the nail on the head with this one. The orange color looks amazing in almost any lighting and the blade works great too. Before we get into talking about the design, do I have my, fuck. I did forget something. I did forget something, yeah. <laughs> He's never forgotten anything, just like I've never forgotten to do anything. I've never forgotten to hit record. This does flip really well. I still like the cracker racking. Like this does feel better, the the actual blade, but this is pretty, this is pretty damn solid. Uh. All right, well, later guys. Before we get into talking about the design, I wanted to talk about a couple things they sent me alongside this. First of all is the new box design, which I think looks pretty cool. It's got all these uh, shiny parts on it. It looks pretty uh, slick. Well, yeah. With the knife, I also received a pretty cool surprise. They sent me their keychain Torx to test out. They come in three sizes, T6, T8, and T10. I found them to be really cool, and I keep the T8 and the T10 on my keys at all times. I don't often need the T6 though, so that stays behind. The design of these is all black, and they fit really well on my current keychain without me even noticing, which is awesome. They are a bit smaller than regular Torx bits and are milled out of a single piece of steel each, which makes them pretty sturdy. Also, I really just like the little logo they have on each one. I don't use them a ton, but when I need them in a pinch, I've been pretty impressed with how well they work. All right, back to talking about this thing, I guess. The blade on this is actually pretty interesting and different than a regular squid trainer. This time they decided to use the blo blowy. <laughs> The David Blowy. The David Blowy. The blade on this is pretty interesting and is different than the usual squid trainer. This time they decided to use the Bowie profile and I think that was a great decision. It brings the overall silhouette of this trainer away from the rest of their product line to stand on its own and I think it really needed that. Overall, you can tell the same level of detail went into making this as any of their other products with great machining all around, both on the handles and on the blade. The blade is chamfered this time instead of being rounded in one spot like the original. Honestly, they both feel plenty comfy against the hand, so it's a minor change. One of the hardest parts of making a trainer is the design of the blade. Many knives have had trainer variants that totally ruin the balance of the knife because they just stuck a hunk of metal where the blade should be. But Squid took that problem head on, doing a lot of research into making a design that was balanced feeling and similar to a live blade, and I think they did a great job personally. The blade has a pretty awesome design overall, with very fast looking lines at the top contrasting the larger holes at the end of the handle. This does double duty of both looking cool and bringing a bit more overall weight to the end of the blade. Also, there's this pretty neat line going the full length of the blade and bulging out near the tip. I have a feeling that this long strip is where this knife gets its signature ring from. This thing honestly rings really nicely as you're flipping it. This is one of the cool things that you can do with trainers. And I think that the ringing that this one gets is pretty satisfying. Let's give it a listen, shall we? Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. When it comes to flipping, this thing is just as good as its predecessor. It's fast and light in the hand, which makes intricate flipping possible while also acting great in the air, making for reliable aerials. The difference between the two are subtle, with maybe a touch less blade weight on the trainer, though it's not much. Honestly, the only way I could describe the difference to Brandon was that the trainer felt more clanky than the original. I guess what I mean to some degree is that it feels like there's more vibration overall with this trainer which I guess makes sense as it does ring while you flip it. It's not a bad thing at all, and it's honestly not super noticeable, but there is a difference there nonetheless. The original version feels very solid and satisfying when you close it, making a loud, deep clap as the handles come together. However, the trainer has more of a vibration in your palm as the handles snap together, followed by the sound of the ringing from the blade. 
Both of these are pretty cool, but if it were up to me, I do prefer the feel and sound of the Live Blade. Something about how slick it sounds when you snap it shut just gets to me. Performance-wise, this thing is just as good as before, doing great with chaplains, aerials, parabolics, ladders, and anything else that I could throw at it. One last thing I wanted to talk about is how durable the color is on these. Due to the lightness of aluminum, I never had the highest of hopes when it came to how it would hold up in the long run. However, I think it's pretty telling that Brandon's Inked Cracker Rackin has held up so well that it looks almost as good. Oh no. That it looks almost as good as the brand new trainer model. I know Brandon has dropped this thing a number of times and yet it's still going very strong, which is awesome to see and it makes me happy to know that this color will last for a long time. Overall, I definitely suggest the Cracker Rackin trainer. This thing is a great addition to the Squid family. Of course, as per my collection, this knife is orange and matches my car, which means I do legally have to keep it. Squid has kindly offered to let me buy it from them for a gracious 15% discount and I was happy to do so as to finally stop my search for a knife that is as orange on the outside as I am on the inside. Speaking of that gracious discount though, Squid has also offered to extend that to my viewers as well with a 10% discount affiliate code made special for my channel. Using the code Will Hirsch at checkout, you will receive a 10% discount on your cart and I will receive 5% of the revenue. That way you can get a discount and support me at the same time. Now, I want to be very clear. I accepted this offer to be a Squid Industries affiliate because I genuinely like their products and philosophy as a company. However, I want to note that everything I say in my reviews is truly what I believe and will never be influenced by an outside company. And if he ever does make that mistake. Brandon, that's an Oculus controller. Shut up, dad, you don't know me. With that out of the way though, I think that this one is pretty cut and dry. It's the Krakarakin, again, but less pointy. You get the idea, it's good. Once again, I wanted to send a big thank you out to my awesome patrons. It feels like we have more people joining the community in Discord every day, so it's so cool to talk to you guys about all sorts of stuff, not just Balasong knives. If you'd like to get in on the conversation or watch some of the hilarious behind the scenes of all the videos we make, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every donation is greatly appreciated and it helps me get closer to making this a full-time job. As always, you can find me on Instagram as at the Will Hirsch. I post Balasong photos and flipping videos as well as videos announcements. Also, don't forget to follow my camera guy at the Brandon Baker on Instagram as well. He posts awesome photography and BTS clips and has been to hell. What a cool guy. But that's pretty much it for today's video. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go teach Brandon about gun safety. Okay, so this is an Oculus controller, not a gun. This doesn't actually- ah!